Hello everyone! I know it's been a while I haven't done any video and I just thought I should do an extension of a video from a previous uh, unboxing and setup of my USB to HDMI adapter which is this one specifically I did this about a year ago and it is for those people who actually didn't have an HDMI on the back of their PC but were mostly USB and and I tried to get it working so I can have two monitors all right so and um, anyway I wanted to explain because I understand that some of you were wanting or asking for the driver in order to install to your PC because my mistake before is I tried to just plug in the USB HDMI and thinking that it will just work right away not knowing there is a driver that I had installed that I have to install and which means I wasn't following the instructions a reading through the brochure itself so let me show you what the instructions show uh, said all right okay here are the instructions that went with the USB HDMI adapter I purchased from Amazon okay and it's explicitly stated that you have to make sure you uninstall your antivirus software or any computer protection software that you have okay and once you uninstall that then you should be able to start connecting your or inserting your adapter into the USB port on the back of your PC or laptop all right and when you do that it will start popping up a little dialog box that looks like this and from there it wants you to open that folder itself right here and what you're gonna see is the driver application files all right this will only work for this type of windows either xp or 7 or 10 or actually even the 8 okay and then let me go to the next page here we go the next page says okay once you click the files it will start installing the driver okay i'm not going to read each of them so this is the process that's happening at this point okay it will ask you where you want to install the driver to what folder okay there you go oops sorry about the blurredness and okay there you go, it's installing. Okay. There you go. And then once it completes the installation, you're gonna have to restart the computer. Okay. And after you restart it, if the driver is installed correctly, you should be able to see a monitor icon in the taskbar which it did that means it worked correctly all right so and this product itself had one year warranty so you're gonna uninstall your antivirus software and then you are gonna insert your usb hdmi converter into the back of your pc and then uh what's gonna happen next is gonna pop up a little box okay a uh, dialog box and you're gonna click on that and then it will show up some files that are gonna be necessary for you to download the driver and then once the driver is installed you have to restart your computer and you know that it happened uh, that it's successfully installed because you're going to be able to see the icon on your monitor screen and then voila okay so hopefully that clarifies things 
uh, which is not very expensive I told you I purchased it for $13 and well I, I believe it was around $13 to $14 let me show you real quick again and there you go I'm actually gonna do a separate video uh, just in case this doesn't work for you and and your USB HDMI basically is not uh, connecting correctly uh, there is a different option that I did which work well and the, I'll explain the reason why I had to do that as well because I do have a few PCs and uh, that would um, work well as far as a certain kind of converter adapter that you're gonna have to use okay again that will be the next video that I will be posting here soon so don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching